Well, in this afternoon's health alert, the FDA today approved two groundbreaking new treatments that can cure sickle cell disease. One of them is a new kind of treatment that uses a gene editing technique called CRISPR. But this treatment does come with a major catch. It requires months of preparation, a long stay in the hospital, and chemotherapy. An estimated 100,000 people nationwide have sickle cell, which is an inherited red blood cell disorder that disproportionately affects African Americans. Joining us now to talk much more about this breakthrough is Dr. Jeffrey Glassberg. He's the director of Mount Sinai Center for Sickle Cell Disease. Thanks so much for joining us, Dr. Glassberg. We appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. Okay, so until now, the only hope for a cure for sickle cell disease has been a bone marrow transplant. So this is a huge <laughs> step forward. We're talking about survivability for the first time as it regards this. Talk to us a little about this new gene editing terms in layman terms. Obviously, it is a very, very complicated thing. How does this work? Right, yes, this is a big step forward for us. Until now, we could cure sickle cell disease, but you needed a bone marrow transplant, which is something that is available to very few people because you need a match. This is the first time that we're able to cure people with their own blood by taking their own blood and the cells that make blood out of their body and fixing it and then giving it back to them so they can make their own blood, but without sickle cell disease. So there's two technologies being used here. The first was the CRISPR that we mm -hmm. were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the first time that FDA has ever approved a gene therapy using this technology, which is really an enzyme that goes in and makes a small cut in the DNA to do something to make the disease better. The other technology is called the lentivirus, which puts in a gene, a gene to, um, to fix the disease. Well, hats off to the medical technology that was able to come up with this, the scientists, the biologists who were able to do this. It, this is not an easy fix, though. No price has been set for this treatment. Um, it will likely be very expensive, unclear at this point if it's even going to be covered by insurance. So taking price out of this for a minute, who do you think will be a good candidate for this treatment? Also, there are also very few medical centers in the country that can even provide the treatment, right? There are a lot of challenges to come. We're, we're happy that we made this step, but like you said, it will be extraordinarily expensive. We're not sure who and for how many uh, the insurance companies will be willing to pay for it. And then there's the process. So this is not a simple thing to do for patients. There will only be uh, a small number of centers across the country that can actually do it. And the process is very involved. So you have to come, we have to take the cells out of your body using a special procedure called apheresis that gets those cells that make blood into uh, out of the body so that they can go to a manufacturing facility to get fixed. And then when it, the time is ready and we fix those cells, we have to bring you into the hospital, um, admit you to the hospital and give you medicines to kill all the cells that remain in your body that make blood. So this is a, a month, month and a half long visit to the hospital where you're very sick and you're in a very uh, fragile state, mm -hmm. but it enables us to give back those cells that are your own cells where we've just fixed the DNA. And slowly over that month in the hospital, you'll start to make your own blood that does not have sickle cell disease. So one of the great parts about this is that everyone has a donor because everyone can take their own cells back. Which so it's very exciting, but there's a risk uh, and the risks are high with all this uh, chemotherapy mm -hmm. uh, and poisoning that we have to do for the body. It's not going to be everyone that opts for this therapy. But like you said, a, a very exciting, brand new, early stage of what we hope to be um, a new journey for so many people who are who who have sickle cell disease. Dr. Glassberg, thanks so much for uh, joining us this afternoon and sharing all that information.